Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at Originality Reports, which is the plagiarism detector built into Google Classroom. It enables you to compare student work against hundreds of billions of web pages and over 40 million books with a single click. Okay, so now let's get started. I've got Google Classroom loaded already. So now let's go to the Classwork tab and select Create and make a new assignment. Let's give our assignment a name. And to enable originality reports, all we need to do is select the check plagiarism checkbox down here on the bottom right. It's worth mentioning here that originality reports is in all versions of Google Workspace for Education. The teaching and learning upgrade and plus version of Google Workspace for Education, which we're running here, enables you to use originality reports an unlimited number of times. However, if you don't have one of these licenses available to you, you will be limited to running originality reports on five assignments per Google Classroom. Okay, and now let's select a due date and time quickly. And then all we need to do is press assign. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to the student view and submit some work and check it for originality. So now I've switched over to my student account. Let's go to the classwork page in Google Classroom, find our new assignment and select view assignment. And now let's move over to add or create on the right hand side and add a new Google Doc to this assignment. And now let's add some work to this document and select turn in. And over on the right hand side, Google Classroom is letting me know that originality reports is enabled for this assignment. And as a student, I can run an originality report myself to check for any unintentional plagiarism or any citation issues so I can make any changes needed before submitting my work. If I don't do that and press hand in anyway, Google Classroom gives me a reminder letting me know that my teacher has enabled originality reports and I haven't actually checked my own work yet for originality. So let's cancel this and go and run a report now. So let's press run. And this message from Google Classroom is just letting me know that as a student, I can run a report on my assignment up to three times before I press the hand in button. So let's press run and it will just take a few moments to generate our report. Okay, so our report has been generated. So let's press view originality report. It opens up a new tab. And here it shows me any flagged or quoted passages in my text. You can use the slider over here on the right hand side to show any portions of the text which I have quoted properly. Each passage is highlighted in gray. And when I click this, it shows me the source it came from and gives me a link to that website. Alternatively, if I go back to all matches and select another source, it will jump to that portion of the text. Now, sometimes this could be a source that was properly cited. However, if it isn't, students can simply go back to edit their document by pressing the edit button down here and they can go back to view the report at any time. Okay, so now let's close this report and actually hand in our assignment. So now let's press hand in and confirm that we're ready to hand in our work to our teacher. I've now jumped back to the teacher view of Google Classroom. So now let's go back to our assignment. And from here, I can see that one person's handed it in so far. So let's select view assignment. And now let's take a look at the work which has been handed in. When a student submits their assignment, a new originality report is automatically generated for you, which is a good time saver. So you don't need to run this manually. So now let's go over to the right hand side and view our new originality report. We can see that there's three flagged passages we should check. As you can see here, it's very similar to the student view. I can click on sections of the text to see where that came from and get a link to that website. And just like the student view, I've also got buttons here on the right hand side to toggle between the number of flagged passages in that document or the percentage of that document which has been flagged. And at the top here, it's letting me know that this originality report will expire on the 5th of April. But if I want to, I can just select the print icon and save this report as a PDF to save it permanently or share it with someone else. So let's cancel this. Another feature I wanted to point out here is School Matches, which is available on Google Workspace for Education, Teaching and Learning Upgrade and Plus, and it enables originality reports to check student work against other student work submitted through Google Classroom. Over time, originality reports will build up its database of student work submitted through Google Classroom. And it's important to note here that that data is always owned by the institution and is not available to anyone else. But as you can see here, there's no matches found against other student work. But what I might do now is go back and submit this same paper again as another student and see what happens. 
Okay, so now I'm back on the assignment overview page and we can see here that another student has handed in their work. So let's select this piece of work and now let's go over to the originality report on the right hand side and you can see here that a whopping 45 flagged passages have appeared. So let's select this report and see what it says. And now you can see here there are a substantial number of matches from another student and it even highlights the student's work which it matches. Let's select this user and from here I can even open up the student work which it matches. So let's press open and then we can compare the two. Well that's it for this video. Originality Reports is a really powerful tool for checking the authenticity of student work but it's also a useful tool for helping students identify when they're doing too much copy and pasting instead of summarizing and synthesizing ideas and concepts to evolve their understanding. Thank you for watching.